Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Stella Rose and today we are doing an empties. This is, as you can tell by the title, my 2021 empties for makeup. Um, it is strictly makeup, that's it. Um, I, I'm not too impressed with myself, I will have to say, and the only reason why is because this empties video is really only going to be for like the first seven months of the year. Um, in August, I packed all my makeup up, didn't use makeup pretty much for like the rest of the year almost, and um, so I'd say this is just like a, a seven month makeup year for me, unfortunately, um, cause we were in the process of moving and stuff happened. And so I was just like, not really caring about anything, especially makeup. It, um, we had deaths in the family and just so much drama was going on. So, um, yeah, so this makeup empties is just going to be kind of short and concise. So if that is something that you are interested in, make sure you hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell to get notified of all my future uploads. I am going to try to do an empties video every single month of not makeup empties, of just like skincare, hair care, body care, all that fun stuff. Um, maybe I'll throw in, eh, I don't know, we'll see. It's a new year, we'll figure it out together. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and dive right into my first empty. And this was the only foundation that I finished. I had a crap ton of foundations, still do, but um, this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. It is in the shade 5. I absolutely love this foundation. I did repurchase. Um, it does have a pump. It's super dirty. <laughs> it is completely empty as you can tell um i did have it in my project pan last year and um it is a great foundation it's i think it's a it's a luminous slash glowy i wouldn't say dewy foundation um it says flawless on here um but like you know i mean not anything's flawless on me i have really dry skin um so there you go. But I do highly recommend this foundation. It is beautiful on the skin. So that was my first empty. Next, um, we are going to go to another single item that I finished, which was one setting spray. This is a full size. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Weightless Setting Spray. It is completely empty. Um, I think it... I think it stopped working or something um, kind of towards the end. It kind of like spritzed out um, when it got really low. So I had to like kind of finagle it a little bit. Um, it wasn't bad. It melted my makeup or my powder on my face. Um, I wouldn't repurchase. I mean, it wasn't too amazing for me, but I will say that, you know, it was good. It wasn't bad. So that is my second. Um, let's see. I have multiples from all my other categories. So we'll just go into um, concealers. I finished up two concealers. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer in the shade 3 Fair. Um, I... <laughs> oh man, what do I say about this concealer? Um, I love the concealer. The shade was a little dark, so I did repurchase it in the shade two. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I feel like the amount that you pay for that you get in this concealer is not a fair amount. <laughs> also, I absolutely hate the application. Look how disgusting this looks like inside the cap like <laughs> this is so gross I wish there was another way maybe make this into a doe foot something but good lord this is so gross it'll come out it'll keep coming out after you twist it up because it's a twist up um 
Ugh. I don't know why I repurchased it, honestly, because, I mean, it's a gorgeous concealer, don't get me wrong. It's just the application process is what gets me every time. So I don't reach for it, which like I said, I don't know why I repurchased it, but I did, whatever, I'll use it again. Um, the last concealer that I used was the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Beige. I completely used it up. I absolutely love this concealer. I did repurchase, same shade. It was a great shade match for me. Um, what I use concealer for is not necessarily concealing. I use it for, um, brightening my under eyes, going down the bridge of my nose. I feel like I, I look dirty right here. I don't know what that is. My dirty, I took a shower. Anyway, <laughs> I do it right here on the bridge of my nose, up right here, my T-zone, and then under my eyes. That's where I use concealer to brighten my face. Um, this did not like crease as much as any other concealer on my face. It felt really hydrating. Of course, it's a hydrating concealer, duh. Um, I love the doe foot. It is like a huge, oh my God, there's so, still some in here. <laughs> Darn it. Oh, well. Um, it's a really big doe foot compared to some of the other ones, but oh, I love this concealer. It was part of my project pan, and I finished it up, and I'm super proud of myself. Okay, moving on to let's do powders. I finished up three powders. Super proud of myself. The first one was the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the Waterproof Setting Powder. It is completely used up. I am so proud. It doesn't have a shade, but you can tell that there is like, it's almost like a foundation. It gives your skin a little color. Like if, if you have a lighter foundation on it and you put this on top, you can tell that it kind of turned it darker. So if you are fair, than I am. I don't know if I would recommend this, um, but I loved it. I, I loved it so much. Um, the only, the only thing about this I would say is you can go through it pretty quickly if you, if you put powder everywhere. Um, I don't put it under my eyes because like I said, I tried to do a brightening concealer under my eyes. So I just kind of like set the rest of my face, use a different powder for under my eyes. Um, but yeah, it's a great powder. Loved it. Um, that's my second one. Um, it was a repurchase. So, but I haven't repurchased it again. I have other powders. So the next one I have is the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. Um, I completely used it up. Um, I think I even took the net out yeah I did I took the net out so uh completely used it up it did smell like coconut so if you don't like coconut scented things or scented things in general I would not recommend purchasing this but it was a great powder um I got it in like a boxy charm or something like that I can't remember boxy charm or ipsy whatever I had last year I mean I had both but I, I can't remember which one it came in um would I repurchase you know, I mean, it was good, but it's not like, oh my God, I absolutely have to have it in my collection. You know, it's not one of those. So, um, probably won't repurchase it, you know, for a while. Maybe I'll miss it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, last but not least, the last powder I finished was the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Um, <laughs> Becca's no longer a brand, so can't repurchase even if I wanted to. I did take the um, netting out as well on this. Um, it lost, lost, lost its cooling effect quite fast. Um, if it was available for purchase, I would not repurchase. It's not something that I, you know, feel strongly about at all. Next, we have some brow products. I have the Real Her Definer Brow Pencil. It's a precision brow pencil with a spoolie on the other end. Um, it's completely gone, so can't, can't turn it up anymore. I liked this one. Um, I could do thin strokes on my eyebrows. 
My eyebrows probably look really funny today, so don't mind my brows. I don't like them right now, so yeah. But this, this is really good. Um, I might, I might repurchase that. I don't, I don't, I have a lot of brow products at the moment. Um, and my Holy Grail is really the benefit, um, the benefit gimme brow. And this one, this is the precisely my brow pencil. This is a deluxe sample size or something like that. Um, I have the full size over there in my collection, but it was so good. Again, you could do the thin brow strokes or um, hair strokes on your brows. Um, like I said, I, I repurchased the full size. So again, I would repurchase. I loved it. Um, next, we have some eyeliner. I finished three eyeliners. Um, this one was the Ico Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner. It's waterproof, black. Um, I don't remember what I, <laughs> I don't remember what I thought of it. So, I mean, obviously I probably wouldn't repurchase it then. Um, this is the Il Maquillage, um, ink liner in black. Uh, I got this when I bought the Il Maquillage foundation from their website. I tried maybe two or three of their foundations and they would send, would send this as like, you know, a free gift. Um, it was okay. Um, I don't, I mean, it has a precision, like it's, it's pretty pointed, but I, I feel like from what I remember, it bent really easily on me. So when I tried to do my wing liner, it wouldn't wing it <laughs> very well. So I probably wouldn't repurchase, even though it's a free gift with purchase. Anyway, both about that foundation, the Il Maquillage foundation, when they try to do the color match, it would never match my skin tone or the color. So I gave up trying to trying to get it. So last but not least, this is the Douce. I don't know how to say it. D-O-U-C-C-E, I'm assuming. It's the Fierce and Fine Graphic Pen. It is in black. Most of my eyeliners are black. This is again a precision liner. I think I actually liked this one. Um, don't remember, probably wouldn't repurchase since I can't exactly remember um, what it was like. So, mascaras, I finished six. <laughs> um, I, I think I didn't finish this one. This one um, is the Milk Kush Mascara. I hated this one. It smudged on me so bad. I don't like it. Would not repurchase. Um, this one I got in a boxy charm or a, an Ipsy. This is the Trustique. What is it called? A uh, Good Vibes mascara. It also says not for sale. So I don't. I don't know if you can repurchase one. But I will have to say that this had a very interesting contraption on the other end. Um, you. You flip it down, so you flip this part down, and this mechanism goes up. Whose eyelash is this small? Like, my eyelash is not. No. So, I would not repurchase, even if I could. It says not for resale, or not for sale, so I wouldn't buy it. Um, this is the Kevin Aquan, the Expert Mascara. In the shade black. Um, I don't think I liked this one. I think it dried out pretty fast for me. Or maybe I just gave up on it. But it's got a really weird wand. It curves down like that. I, I didn't like it. I think it, it like. I really couldn't use this on my lower lashes. Because that scoop thing would always just. I even tried to turn it upside down and try to use it that way. But you know I just. It's too much effort. I'm lazy. I don't, I don't want to have to like work at it and do whatever. Next, I had the Lime Life by Alcone Mascara. It's the perfect mascara. Um, I don't remember how I felt about it. I think it was okay. It was a, it was a fine mascara. The wand was okay. 
Oh yeah, that's right. I did not like the scent of it. it smells like crayons. Uh, I would not repurchase. Um, then I did have my absolute favorite mascara and they discontinued it. <laughs> Marc Jacobs. If anybody knows about Marc Jacobs, I'm pretty sure they are no longer doing beauty, um, which is very sad. I have many things that I loved from Marc Jacobs, like my um, bronzer, the Omega bronzer. Um, this is the Velvet Noir Mascara. This is like the cherry um, collection, the limited edition cherry packaging. Um, I loved this mascara. It had like an hourglass shaped wand. Um, it made my lashes look so good. And uh, I just wish, I wish it was still available. I tried, tried. Um, I couldn't get it in time before everything sold out. Last but not least, I did finish a Glamnetic. This is a liquid magnetic eyeliner for the Glamnetic Magnetic Lashes. Um, don't let it get in your eyes. It stings like the Dickens. Um, also, the other thing with this one is you would always have to, like, you would have to untwist it. It's not wanting to open right now. Yeah, it's like stuck in there. Oh, well. Um, but you would have to take it out. You would have to wipe off the edges because it would be a big clump on the end of it. And then when you would try to apply it on your lash line, um, it would like smear everywhere. So you would have to be very careful with how you applied this um, with your magnetic lashes. But I mean, I repurchased it because it was, I mean, it worked with the, the magnetic lashes. So, and that's the only lashes that I know how to use. <laughs> I've tried other lashes and they just, I, I don't know, I, I can't make them stay. They always fall off or start peeling up in one corner. And I just, I, I kind of gave up. Okay, last but not least, like I said, this is gonna be a, pr a very fast video because I don't have too much done from this last year because I only did seven months worth, worth of makeup. Um, so the last category is primers. I finished up four minis and one full size. Um, we'll do the minis first. I finished up the Milk Hydro Grip. Um, I had it in my project pan. If you can tell with the little markings right there, I really did like this primer. I just, I haven't repurchased it yet because I have so many primers right now, but I probably will repurchase it this year. I did really like it. Um, it held my my makeup on. Um, it was a little hydrating and you know, with dry skin, I need all the hydration I can get, but I also want something that will grip my makeup and that worked really well for me. So I definitely recommend that one. Next, this was the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. Um, it was also in my project pan. I, would not repurchase this. I don't really like illuminating primers. It does really nothing for me. Um, I need more of a gripping primer or a hydrating primer. I have a couple of illuminating primers and I really don't reach for them and I don't, you know, they kind of go to waste. So again, I, I wouldn't repurchase that one, but that's just my preference. It's a really good primer. It's just, it's not something that I, I gravitate towards. Next, I finished up to Tatcha, this one was the liquid silk canvas and this was the original silk canvas. This, both of them were my project pans. I had like four project pans going on last year. Um, I would repurchase, I would repurchase, I liked it. Um, it was oil free. I mean, it held my makeup in place. I feel like it was a little hydrating as well. It kind of gave a, a nice, um, hydration slash gripping, um, made everything kind of look smooth. I think I really preferred this with this. Um, um, this is probably like the only one that I really reached for. The, the top is broken. So that's what you hear is if you can hear that. Um, this one, I would definitely repurchase again. I also finished this one. This one was super good. Um, I don't know which one I would prefer over the other. I would, I wouldn't mind buying both, 
Um, if you would prefer sticking your finger in something, go for that one. If you don't, if you want to pump, go for this one. Um, I think they both primarily work the same, but you know, I like them both. I would repurchase both. Okay, so the only full-size primer <laughs> that I finished this last year was the Urban Decay All Nighter. I absolutely love this primer. Oh my gosh. And I really like the fact that it was a pump. It wasn't like a squeezy tube. So you literally got everything out of it. There was nothing else that could come out. Um, I mean, I probably could have like cut it open and maybe gotten another use or so out of it, but I, you know, I wasn't going to, but, um, it says it's a long wear foundation. It grips, preps, smooths, and perfects. And it is so true. Does all of the above. I think that this one and then the Tatcha and then this one, I definitely, all three of those are technically four. Um, I did repurchase this one, so I have that one in my makeup drawer. Um, that's my, actually, it's in my everyday makeup drawer. Yeah, it's right here in my makeup drawer. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, repurchase. Um, and then, and but I do think it's, yeah, it is a six-month, it has six-month shelf life. So um, when you open it, just make sure you try to use it up within six months. Otherwise, it might go bad or it might ruin, like, your skin or, you know, something might happen. I don't know. Skin might fall off your face. Who knows? <laughs> um, I know. I'm just kidding. Nobody, nobody's skin falls off their face from using a primer that's expired by a few months. But whatever. Um, yeah, I would repurchase. So, in total, I had quite a few. Um, I had six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 products that I finished this last year, which I'm pretty proud of. I got to admit, I'm a little proud of myself uh, because I feel like I haven't really ever used that makeup. But then again, you know, I think it was 2020, end of 2019 going into 2020 is when I really started getting back into makeup. Um, so... We'll see what this next year brings. I am looking forward to it. I have one project pan already going. That one has nothing to do with makeup. So I think that I am going to do the 22 in 22 um, project pan. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, that is the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, comment below something that you absolutely love that you finished this year or comment something you absolutely hated that you finished this year. Either way, let me know below and um, I will see you in my next video. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and remember to stay beautiful.